Well, hello, it's Friday again. Time for a new video. Hey, today I'm going to talk about long exposures during the daytime. And of course, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Nisi filters I use. Well, hello, I'm Philip Smits, freelance photographer from Helsinki, Finland. So today we're going to talk about long exposures in the middle of the day. And of course you need some equipment for this. You need a camera, you need a lens, of course. But uh, you need a sturdy tripod so the camera won't shake, move, anything. And then you need, during the day, you absolutely need an ND filter. Uh, the ND filter will block the light so you can get a longer shutter speed without overexposing the shot. Well, hope the wind won't disturb you too much. I'm here by the sea, so so there will be some wind noise. But uh, I use the Nisi ND filters, the square ones. Uh, they're 10 by 10 centimeters. Uh, I can put uh, three of them in the same uh, on the same lens, and then I at the same time have a polarizer, which is really nice when shooting by the water. One more thing I like to use is a remote controller because I want to remove all possible camera shake. I lift up the uh, mirror because uh, I have a DSLR, not a mirrorless. So I don't want any camera shake happening when I press the button. Uh, of course, if you don't have a remote controller, you can put the camera on self timer, put it on 10 second self timer, press the button, it will count for 10 seconds and take the shot. All camera shake will be gone by then. But for me, when I have a remote controller, I really like to use it. Oh, it's windy again, but hey, it's I'm by the sea. So I use the Hachnell Capture Pro. It's a really good one, really windy. But hey, hopefully it won't disturb you too much. I use the Hachnell Capture Pro because it's a really versatile uh, remote controller. It captures or it recognizes light, sound, laser, infrared, so you can do really creative shots with it. Now I will set up all my equipment. Well, here's so windy, so I will explain more later. Well, now I'm gonna go home, make some dinner for my family, for myself as well, I'm quite hungry. Yes, we had a lovely dinner with the family. Everybody is now happy, so off to shoot some more. Well, here I am again. Unfortunately, all the clouds are gone. Let's hope they will come back later, so we get some really nice, nice shots. But uh, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about ND filters. They block the light and uh, when you shoot in the middle of the daytime you need a really strong ND filter, really black. Here's some bird flying, a seagull. Nice. Uh, a 10 stop ND filter is what you at least need during daytime. It will block uh, 10 stops of light which means it's really dark because as you know one stop always halves the light so it will block a lot of light it's so dark that you won't even see through it it's it's a black black piece of glass so uh, 10 stops will make everything really smooth the water smooth the clouds when they move if there would be any clouds there's no clouds now uh, but uh, they when they move they will look really fantastic. Here we have my 10-stop filter. It's made by Nisi, and uh, Nisi makes really good quality glass. When you buy an ND filter, always buy a more expensive one. The cheap, one, cheap ones aren't that good. Uh, they, will, they can be blue, they can be, bra be brown, so you get a lot of color casting 
in your in, in your shots that you have to correct in post which is not always that fun so buying quality glass means that less time in post and now I will put this filter in front of the video camera and you won't see me I promise you so here we have a 10 stop filter now in front and then away it blocks the light totally <music> Well, there are different kind of ND filters. There are the square ones that I have, and then there are uh, round ones that you screw on your your lens. Uh, I myself like this square, the square ones better. And then there is of course all, also uh, variable ND filters. Uh, there are round ones that have different stops on the same filter, so you. You can have a filter from one stop to five stops, so you, you, you can choose whatever you need. They're really good for filmmaking. I really wish I had one. I could have done much better in the sun then, but I don't have one. So let's talk about the Nisi square filters. Well, what I really love about the Nisi, Nisi filter system is that first you screw on a polarizer on the lens and that to that, uh, the filter ho holder will then attach. So just put the filter holder to that and then you're ready to go. You have three slots, so you can, you can use three different filters. Uh, you can have the 10-stop ND filter, then a graduated filter for the sky, if the sky is too bright, or then for the horizon, you can, in the, when you're taking uh, sunset shots, there are ND filters that are darker in the middle, so you get the horizon a little bit darker. So you can put three different filters there. One thing that is really important when shooting with a 10-stop, even a 6-stop ND filter, is that first you have to autofocus, do your focus, because you can't do it manually, you won't see it through, or then the camera can't use the autofocus because everything is too dark. So always focus first, then put the lens on manual focus so it won't be disturbed again. And after that, you can put the filter on and start taking pictures. But remember, always focus first, make the composition first, get the shot as ready as you can, and then put the ND filter on. Otherwise, you won't be lucky. I'll hold on to you, this might be a bit gross. Well, how do you know how to get the exposure right? Well, when you make your composition, you focus and everything, you always, of course, make the exposure right for that moment without an ND filter. Let's say one hundredth of a second. So it's really easy to start counting from that. Three clicks, that's one stop, and you're at one fiftieth of a second. Then one more stop, three clicks again, and you're at one twenty-fifth of a second, and so on. So it's really easy to count. 30 clicks, 10 stops. Uh, remember, if you want a longer shutter speed than 30 seconds, you have to go to bulb and use a remote control. But like I told you before, always use a remote control. It's much easier that way. Sorry, it doesn't make any sense. This was not how I saw the end. But I keep on breathing. With bulb, you can take four minutes, five minutes, even ten minutes, whatever you need. The shutter will be open for so long that you press the button. So it's really easy taking really long exposures in bulb mode. And yes, there are some clouds. I was looking in the wrong direction all the time. Let's take some lovely shots with moving water and moving clouds. It's a really beautiful evening today, but 
not if you want to shoot long exposure photos with clouds. I got everything set up. In the middle of the exposure, the clouds just went poof and they were gone. So I have to try to get some more shots tomorrow or I just have to go through my archives and see what I can find. So I will show you a lot of shots. But hey, I have enjoyed my day today. Beautiful weather, sun is shining, everything is warm. It's summer here in Finland now. So, why? Well, of course I enjoy myself. Uh, it's just a shame about the clouds, but hey, you can't win every time. Uh, I will try to get some more shots tomorrow before I post this video. Hopefully there will be some clouds, uh, but I can't promise you. But then again, I will go through the archive, see if I can get some new shots tomorrow. So now I'm gonna pack up, go home, spend some time with the family and enjoy myself. It's Friday and clouds, so I'm gonna take some long exposure shots with clouds. Just wanted to come out and shoot some shots with clouds before I publish the video, so you will get some fresh so shots in the video and I'll explain what I do with them. Just a small reminder, always focus before you put on your 10-stop ND filter, otherwise you won't see anything or the camera can't do the autofocus. The first shot was a shot with a 10-stop uh, ND and a graduated ND filter for the sky. The sky is so much brighter, so I, I need to put that down a little bit. A four-minute exposure, F22. I know I told you about diffraction, but I wanted to try it this way today. And here's the shot. <laughs> I just love Fridays, don't you? And the best thing is that my wife has the weekend off, so it's gonna be a lovely week and maybe we're gonna enjoy a glass of wine out on the warm balcony this evening. Well, here I am now editing the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video and please remember to subscribe, like, and hey, press the bell button so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Next Friday there will be a new video again. I have some great ideas for what I will do. So I'm going to start making, making that. But hey, have a lovely weekend. See you next Friday. Bye bye.